January, 1973, three black snipers set fire to this hotel in downtown New Orleans and killed guests in their rooms, including a young doctor on his honeymoon. Other guests flee to the balconies, trapped between flames and bullets. A terrified black maid is told, don't worry, we're only shooting whites today. Then the snipers barricade themselves on the roof and shoot arriving firemen. The chief of police is killed during the first assault. Two snipers are killed by a nighttime helicopter assault. Hey, go. There he is. He got, I think he got him. Yeah, he's dead. But the leader continues shooting from the rooftop bunker. He is Robert Essex, 23, recently discharged from the Navy, living in this apartment, covered with anti-white slogans. The attack force carefully moves onto the roof and prepares to charge the bunker. The snipers are dead, but they have shot policemen, firemen, hotel employees, and guests. Like most snipers, they make no attempt to escape, as if committing suicide. <laughs> <laughs> 